Hey there! Welcome back to another Mighty Meter tutorial, and today we're going to learn about... Actually, we're not gonna learn about... I'm gonna show you how to use Bend IK. Bend IK. Or Bend Inverse Kinematics. So we should... Hold on, let me open it. Let me open Mighty Meter. I mean, Model Bench. We have to... Before we could start, we have to first open Model Bench Community Build. Because it's where... Because the feature is in there as well. We need Model Bench Community Build and Mighty Meter Community Build. So let's step right up. Step right up. Step right up. Let's transition to the model bench. Let's go. Okay, so now we're in model bench. We can go and create a new model. Before starting anything, make sure to add a name. Like. Leg. Legus. Legus. Once you're done, I'm gonna. I already made one. I just want to record a new one with my voice. Legus Maximus. Leg. Oh. Mm. Leg. Legus Maximus. And then, what do you want to do? Well, before that, I can just. There we go, set that as the main picture. Get out. Now let's add a part. Add a cube. This is this is just gonna be an example on how to make one. And then finally this leg. Give me that leg. Click on the shape. Let's fix that UV. Oh yeah, to sh to show the UV you have to press control E. If you want if you want to see the UV, the UV map, pick the UV texturing, just press Ctrl E. And now before we do anything, we have to fix the pivot point. So it's gonna be negative. Is it? It's supposed to be negative eight. Nope. Add a band. And to the lower part, change the change the bend into the lower part so so it bends here rather than the upper part yeah. and then drag offset for oh wrong one negative four and the wrong one again <laughs> negative three dang i'm i do not i i suck at math also you we still have to go lower we have to so we have to remember to focus on wait can you see my mouse cursor oh yeah so a very important thing is you see that that thing over here that's the the center of the pivot point. that's the pivot point so you you will so you want your pivot offset to negative 12 well i'm gonna go for negative 14 because i'm gonna do something right now at an angle Ankle, ankle, then add another cube, no, not another cube, and then go here, and then I'm gonna have four pixels, four pixels, hold on, change the, oh, it's still 12, okay. The bed. Fix the bed. Fix the bed opposite. To six. And then we have to change it to this. Oh, we have to fix it again. Oh, it's so the pivot opposite is negative. And we. Hold on. Not supposed to be eight, I think. And change the pivot opposite to four. I will write the add a bend. 
0.25. Nope. Lower. Custom band size for a little smoother bending. To make it more smoother. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fix that. I'm trying. I'm just gonna try and show an example. Bend there. And bend here. Kinda sucks. Anyways, okay. I'm gonna just bump. I'll be bend there. Make sure everything's okay. It bends here. It rotates from here and not and not from there. Okay, everything's all okay. right. And now we can save that model and we can go open mining mirror. Okay, we have Okay, my number is open. Let's open a new project. Make a new project. Or stinger transition. There's nothing here. Okay, great. Let's open my Legus Maximus. There we go. Legus Maximus is here. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot. Oops. I knew it. I forgot. I only have been in this kinematics? Okay. Legus. I forgot to do one important thing to add the joint end. So in so you can never forget that the joint end is the most important thing on making a model. So when you're making a model, you're you have to adjust the joint end. It's where the limb will start to bend when IK is enabled in Mind Mirror. So yeah, uh, okay. So you want, so you want the joint end to be. Okay, where is it? Why is it not showing? Oh, I forgot. I was not in bed. Press B. Joint end. There we go. That's the the joint end. You'll know. Just. So if negative six, it's six. And also the ankle. 1.5 Too much 1.5 1 1.8 1 1.8 Okay, 1.7 Dang There we go Save that And now we go back Go to resources, legus, replace model, leg, not that one, leg is maximus, and it's fixed. Now I can add. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Now we can add inverse kinematics. Okay, now where's my feet? Feet. We also have, we also need. An angle, high K angle. The angle, we, 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 a very important thing you need is the angle. And now put the angle to there. Okay, let's see if everything is working fine. Let's see if everything works fine. The feet. It works fine. The angle works fine. Okay, now for the ankle. Bend inverse kinematics onto the feet. Never forget onto the handle where the feet is, the leg is. Okay, and now, behold. Okay, we did it. We did it. And that is simply how you make bend IK or add bend IK into your models uh, and on the default on the default on the default models on in my mirror it does not have that we have to add we have to add the ankles ourselves manually add ankles sorry steve get out <laughs> okay so so now that we have it we can now go to the next part where i make a render out of it because i'm going to use it as a thumbnail let's go Legus. Oh yeah. So uh, before before I leave, 
I want to give you a, 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 a very cool tip when do it, when adding IK handles. So you want to do is put it on HQ hiding. So whenever you render it or press F5, it doesn't show. Wow, where is it? It's not showing. It doesn't show. Well, it's on the high quality rendering. But if you press low quality, you won't see it on the, on the non-pre-rendered viewport. So there we go. We finally learned how to use IK Bend. Let's go. Wee. 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 Okay. I So I just realized I forgot to change the scenes. Oh my god. I recorded. I have recorded a whopping 19 minute. Scene. Oh wait. 18 and a half minutes of trying to make it render. And it wasn't even pre. Even it wasn't even recording right. <gasps> Anyways, I'll continue for now. Nanana, <laughs> <laughs>